What's up, guys? So we're doing something really cool today. So we are running a gambler-free tournament around a beautiful, gigantic, megalodon fish place, Lake Gunnersville. And we're, we're kind of hooked up with Scottsboro Fishing Tackle, which is right down the street from beautiful Lake Gunnersville, which is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in there and look at what kind of gambler stuff they have. Talk about what's going to go on because some of the best fishing year is actually about to come right after our free tournament as we move into this fall and winter bite. We're going to talk to Andrea, who owns Scottsboro Fishing Tackle, about what kind of baits, what kind of techniques, what kind of tactics go into fall fishing on, on Lake Gunnersville, one of like the best capitals of the world. Check this out. Ooh, look at all the fun stuff in there. So we're going to go in there and talk to her and uh, see what she has to say. So what's really cool with Lake Gunnersville is it fishes a lot like the Florida lakes that Gambler is really known really well on. There's a lot of grass up here, especially during the fall and going into kind of the winter periods. So a lot of baits, you know, the Mega Daddy, the, the Big Easy Swim Bait, the, the Stinger, the Cane Toad, all come into play because they're, they're really grass-oriented types of plastics. So they fit right into the wheelhouse of catching some of these Megalodon fish up here on one of the best capitals of the world. But there's always tweaks and nuances to how you fish them, especially in different areas. You know, it's not all the same. Especially like Lake Gunnersville has a lot of shad and there's a very shad focused kind of bass population. Ah, I can talk, really? In comparison to say Lake Okeechobee or Kissimmee where a lot of the bigger bass, they'll eat shad and that, but they tend to focus on the brim. So we're going to talk to Andrea who owns Scottsboro about what kind of little nuances, what kind of rigs, what kind of bait presentations and maybe what kind of water to target when you're looking at some of these late fall into winter fish up here on Lake Gunnersville. Yes, we are going to talk about baits like I mentioned, but first, let's meet Andrea. Oh, Scottsboro fishing tackle the face of Scottsboro. Look how happy she is. So we want to talk a little bit, Andrew, a little bit about. Um, we run free tournaments here every year. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit, like, about what the fishing is usually like when we're running the free tournaments? Because oftentimes they're in the fall and that, and we're actually doing one tomorrow. But like, what's it like? You know, do you see what kind of turnout do we see? What's the experience like? Usually, right about now, you know, we're getting ready to have a big frog bite. Okay. So we have uh, it's a good top water bite. And um, it still hasn't quite cooled off as much as we wanted it to, but um, swim baits have been doing really well, and then frogs, um, and we can't beat a jig on Gunner's so. Rules. Can't beat a jig. And when you're talking about a jig, just kind of pitching it to like holes or pitching it to the hydrilla, or what kind of stuff are you doing with it? Yeah, you can find a dock. They're hiding up under the docks. The docks. Yeah. That I didn't know. I see all this hydrilla out there, and I'm like, nah, I guess you go to the docks. So usually I get like 80, 60 to 80 some boats for the free tournaments. It's always run really smooth because I'm going to help run it this year, so it's going to be smooth. Everybody has a good time. It's a free derby, so all you got to do is come and get like grab gambler stuff from Scottsboro Fishing Tackle and um, come down and fish the derby. And I think we do do the rule, too, here where you can have two people in the boat, and then if you have a, a kid under 16, they can come and they can fish as well, so you can have three people in the boat. Yes. So you get kind of families, kids involved, they come and hang out. It's a good experience all around, yeah. right? And we have people that fish every year that come from the high schools. Awesome. So we have a lot of high school anglers um, in Jackson County. Okay. So a lot of different high schools have uh, fishing teams. Right. And we get, I know for sure, Sylvania fishing teams coming out. Um, this is the first year Scottsboro High Schools had a fishing team, so I've got some kids coming out from that. So really just trying to get the youth involved also. That's awesome, because those high school kids, man, I wish I started fishing back then because I'd be a lot better than I am now, but dude, they're sticks, and, and they love the sport. They show such a passion for the sport that you don't find anywhere else but with the kids like that, which is real cool. So, free tournament is tomorrow, but we also want to get Andrew's take on kind of what baits and what kind of techniques that we're going to use kind of moving forward on Gunnersville, um, say in like the December, January month. So we're going to slide over by the baits, take a look at what she's got gambling-wise, and have her tell us a little bit about that, all right? Okay. We found the gambler stuff, and it was super easy to find because Andrew's really smart, and she puts it all in one place for the gambler free tournament. So we can find it all right here. All right, Andrew, we, we're going to have the tournament tomorrow, so we'll kind of get some recaps from like the winners and the guys who like do really well as to what's working right now but what I'm really curious about is what's going to work like for for people who are coming to Scottsboro to fish Gunnersville say in we're in we're in like October right now say December November January which from what I understand is like the juice like that's when people are catching giant mega bags out here what kind of gambler stuff would be viable then and how would you use it swim baits swim baits all bite is all about swim baits big easies huh? so right now we're looking at the TZs, okay. which is about the size of the bait fish that are out there. 
Really? So they're killing them on swim jigs with those as trailers. Just a note real quick, take a look at this. Like these TZs, like the name is actually like totally what they're, they're small, they're really tight, yeah. and they're catching big ones like that. That's the size of the bait fish, and they're, they're in balls. So they're hitting these big bait balls, and they're just really? killing the small swim baits, two and three inch swim baits, but as it gets colder, they'll go to the bigger baits. Colors um, wise, I, I, color and what wise, are we're talking? Be shad, shad it's all yeah. whitish, silver. So the Alla Wife, okay. Um, the White Lightning, okay. The Ghost Shad. Oh, I love that color. Okay. Even the new Shad, that's yeah. perfect because it's got the glitter in it, so you're gonna have the flash. Okay. And then, as cold, the water gets colder, they'll move up to the bigger baits. Okay. The big Easies, same colors. The Not So Sexy is a good one. Okay. Really good color. Electric one does really well, and then the ghost shot again. So, fall bite typically is a swim bait bite. Fall bite is a swim bait bite. And tell me something too. Does your does the water get clearer as the, as it gets colder in that? Is there any kind of correlation between that and the size of baits and that? It does, but the thing about it is, it's depends on how hard it rains. Okay. If we get a lot of rain, it's gonna stay in the water. Okay. It depends on how much water they're pulling. Depends on the weather up north. And what's it, getting sent what's down getting the river to you. River. Okay. So just the weather plays a huge factor. So stop so. stop in Scottsboro and ask what's been happening. <laughs> so here's actually a little funny story. I didn't know that they had gotten so much rain like the week before. The bite had been crazy like two weeks ago. A lot of grass and a lot of top water. And we stopped in and we're like, hey, Andrea, like, what's going on? She's like, a lot of things have changed because we had a bunch of rain, which I really wouldn't have known if, you know, you guys wouldn't have told us. And yeah. you kind of, hope, well, we don't get we the fish. We didn't necessarily it, get the rain. It, Tennessee did. And it's so coming down. It came down. So you, you want to stop in and ask what's going on. Yeah. All right, other than the swim baits, what's another kind of thing that, that when we're moving into that, that December or January period, what, what else is hot? Stick baits do really Stick well. Baits. So the five and six inch aces Where they will at? do really well right here. Stick baits. You can't beat a stick bait, and that's a good price on a decent amount of them. Uh, colors wise, like are we mimicking brim? What are we doing? Color wise on stick baits, black and blue. Okay. Black and blue glitter does really well. Green pumpkin does really well. Um, that copper field, if the water stained, does really well. That's so funny. That's like the number one color in Florida. Is it? <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. So, and watermelon red. Watermelon red's a great color on Donner's Run. Which is almost gone. Get them while you can. Uh, rigging these things. Are, are we just throwing them on a, a Texas rig with a little tungsten weight? Like how heavy or how, how are you fishing them? A lot of guys will fish them. They'll wacky rig them. Really? Weightless. Really? They sell a lot of wacky rig stuff. Yeah. So just weightless with the O-ring and you throw it out there, I'm assuming on spinning tackle on that yes. or like 12 so pounds, pound. 12, 15 pounds. And then another way that they'll throw them is on a shaky head. Okay. So Like on a giggy head a or giggy something head. along that? Yes. Huh. Very cool. All right. One other bait then, moving into that winter period. What what else is hot? Swim jigs. Um, are you guys still punching any kind of grass or anything or flipping any grass in those later months or is that pretty much over? It'll pretty much, pretty much done. die off, yeah. Um, I mean, you'll find them out there in some grass back in the pockets, not on the main river channel. Okay. Are those um, fish trying to come in to stage up to spawn? Does it start that early or do you really get a winter period up here where they're, they kind of get out? And it just they're depends not on how fast it gets cold. Okay. Like right now in October, we still have 91 degree weather. Okay. So it's still super hot. Our water temperature is still really warm. Okay. So it just depends on how long it takes for that water temperature to cool down. So it might actually take a little longer this year and that winter bite might kick in a little later because we are having like a warmer fall kind of deal, which is probably hurting the deer hunting in that. So. Yes. Well, very cool. Well, guys, definitely, you know, the free tournament will have kind of like a, a what one coming up. But if you get the chance, you know, this is one of the best capital of the world. We're at Scottsboro, right next to Lake Gunnersville. It is just an amazing place to fish. Giant fish. You can catch them in a bunch of different ways. And some of the best fishing is just around the corner in, in these, actually in the winter months, all the way through the ledge months. Because then you guys go to your ledge bites, get that post spawn deal, and the shad spawns right in there. So many opportunities to catch fish. And you can throw gambler stuff. Like, I really think the gambler stuff works up here because it fits the bill, like the swim baits, the grass. It's, it's definitely something that will play into the wheelhouse. And I don't think too many people are throwing it, so you can't get under the radar. But come say hi to Andrea at Scott's Pro Fishing Tackle, and uh, they can check you out online. What's your uh, Instagram, yes. Facebook kind of deal? Um, Scott's Pro Tackle Company dot com. Uh, Twitter is at Get to Fishing. Instagram is at Scott's Pro Tackle Company. All right. 
check him out, give him a follow. You can follow me too, Mikey Balls Fishing, if you want to, but that doesn't matter. But definitely check out Scott's Pro, and uh, we'll see how this tournament turns out. And thank you for all the insights and all the information, Andrew. All right. Thank you.